Hey guys, so quick update. Um, you're about to see a video from about two and a half weeks ago, or yeah, two and a half, three weeks ago. Um, and yeah, um, sorry about the late upload, guys. I've just been a bit busy with uni, just trying to get on top of things, and yeah, it's just been a bit of a bit of a heavy workload, just trying to work through. But I really want to still upload, so I try upload maybe two, three times a week. Um won't be daily unfortunately i don't have that much time right now because i have exams next week um i've got some pretty big exams on anatomy physiology that i'm really not looking forward to but yeah um yeah so enjoy all right guys so um i pushed it a bit too late i was studying a bit longer than i intended to and i lost track of time i was also talking to the missus so yeah, um, I'm gonna head out now. It's like 8.40 p.m. I'll do a quick chest and bicep workout. Uh, changing the split, I'll tell you guys about it on the way there. Um, other than that, um, should be a pretty good chest and bicep day. Uh, yes, also I am wearing a hat today, so. No, I'm not trying to impersonate Sam Sulek, but if it does look similar, it's cause it probably is. Cause I'm wearing a hat, I'm lifting, I'm pushing some heavy weight. I'm going to film in the car. So, yeah. So, alright. I'll see you guys at the gym. A pre-workout concoction has been made. Um, I'm not going to put the water in yet just because the water at the gym is like super cold. So I love putting the water in at the gym and then drinking my pre there and then warming up and then doing my workout and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I won't fill it up with water. So I'm just going to leave it in this. Um, in the meantime, I will go grab um, an energy drink just because I'm feeling a bit... A bit snoozy, a bit lackluster of sleep, a bit sleep deprived, if you will. Well, yes, I will grab an energy drink and then head off to the gym. All right, so I'll catch you guys at the grocery store. Check you guys over here. If you could see, I hope you could see. If not, I apologize. Back you go. Alright, surely. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's on. Alright. We are currently chilling in the car. There's pretty much no one in the gym today. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know why I still have my belt on. Anyways, we'll see how I have two of these. These other ones are a bit different. These ones are like the yogurty ones. These are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, yogurty ones. 
Taste test. I mean, I like the chocolate chip ones better. No, not too bad. It's a bit too yogurty for my liking. But it is what it is. It's just thing. Like quick digesting carbs. Or fast digesting carbs, whatever you want to call it. Alright, and for those you didn't see before, I got the blue V. Blue V. This is a banger. Let me tell you what it tastes like. Imagine like a tropical drink, just the flavor, the tropical, the tropicalness is like balanced out with a fizziness. So it's like a tropical fizziness. But yeah, it's pretty banger. I like it. I like it a lot more than the normal one. The normal one tastes like battery acid. So yeah. Uh, All right. I'm saying later this week I might have lasagna. Depends on if I can find one that's halal, just because. If you didn't know, I'm Muslim. But yeah. Well, on the topic of religion, we all know that in a couple days it will be Ramadan. So, in preparation of that, I'm trying to think about how I'm going to fit in my meals and my workout. And yeah, this is the daytime. Let's, let's, let's think about it. So, I'm going to have. 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. is like my fasting window. Like that's when I have to fast because sunrise to sunset, that's like the whole structure pretty much. So from that, there's a random guy just walking around. Let's lock the car, just in case. Um, yeah, so. Six AM, seven thirty PM. That's our window. And yeah. Six AM to seven thirty PM. And in between I'm fasting, I'm doing all my uni classes, whatever. And then after that is probably the is when I'm gonna break my fast, so seven thirty when I break my fast. Now the question is, where do I put in the gym and where do I fit in all of my meals? Because either way, regardless of how much carbs I'm eating, preferably I want to eat more because I'm bulking. But in this in this context, I'm not going to be able to just because like the time is so restraining. Like if I want to get adequate sleep and I want to eat all my meals and I want to go gym, it's kind of like an impossible situation here. So what I'm thinking is I might pause the bulk just just for like just to make sure I'm thing. Just to make sure like I'm able to like sleep properly. Cause like I know that eating right before you sleep is very bad. It's gonna mess up your sleep. Like frankly speaking, if you if you can't nail down your sleep, then your training's like pretty much, your training and your diet make up like two out of the three main things that I that how I see it. So. I see it as you need your training to be on point, you need your sleep to be on point, and you need your nutrition to be on point. And with nutrition, nutrition is pretty much a vague one, especially for me, because I've never taken like, I've never done like a proper, proper cut. Like I've always been bulking, and then I cut back down a little bit, like 20 kilo cut. But even then, on that cut, I was pretty much doing like a body recon, and essentially building muscle while cutting. So it wasn't really like, it didn't feel like a cut, it just felt like I was getting stronger. Um, but yeah. Uh, right, so as I was saying, you need those three things in order to create any form of muscle mass or like whatever your goals are. If it's strength goals, you need sleep, you need to recover, you need to eat properly, like high protein meals, and you also need to um, train properly. Like that goes without saying. Most people, <coughs> excuse me, yeah, most people tend to get their training on point. A lot of people are able to get their training and nutrition on point. And some people are able to get the training and sleep on point, but they're always missing out on one thing. It's actually, I'm not even gonna like lie to you guys, like getting all three on point consistently is incredibly, is, is like incredibly hard. 
especially because everyone has their day-to-day -day lives right so if you're not able to reach i guess a certain point like as in you're not able to reach a like all three at once i'd say just take it one day at a time like if you see yourself training like everything's good except your training's lackluster one day next day focus on your training a bit more like your nutrition don't forget about nutrition and sleep like duh, those are important but like just put those as like the secondary i guess secondary priority and your primary oh sorry your first priority should be your training because whatever your is your weakest i'd suggest you weapon that first because if you can't bring the weak things up and you keep getting stronger your weak point is always going to be a weak point if your weak point is here your strong points are here right and you consistently get stronger right the elevating the weak point is still saying the same so i suggest you focus on the weak point that doesn't necessarily mean doing it more or neglecting the others that just means like balancing it in but yeah so sleep training nutrition i reckon these are the three crux cruxes crux like as in like the three main components of anyone's lifting career i'd say if you want to get big if you want to get swole if you want to get lean nutrition training sleep i feel like a lot of people neglect sleep or the caffeine heads or the what like like the people who take on like 400 500 milligrams of caffeine at like 9 p.m before they go to the gym then after the gym they can't sleep and they complain they're like oh i can't sleep blah 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 and then they flex like oh yeah i can drink this much caffeine in one sitting this is how much i take before the gym like mate it's not that it's, a, it's really not that impressive considering you could have been making more gains if you're just taking a bit less caffeine train just as hard and not relied on the caffeine i'm saying this as someone who did rely on caffeine at one point in time i was taking like bloody gram of caffeine on my leg days it was freaking ridiculous if you ask some of my friends they saw like one time on my leg day i was just i was just like i was just super hyper like still at the end of my leg day and then i just proceeded to like put on 400 on the leg press and just rep that rip that out for like 12 to 15 reps and i was like later on now i look at it like what the hell like there's weren't slow and controlled right there's like fast like like screw you like I can, I can lift this like just like try to get it up like ego lifting yes that's the word ego lifting but yeah um so i wouldn't say that's ideal but yeah like right now i'm only having this caffeine because i know this isn't, isn't going to hit me that much let's check how much is in this yeah we got 156 milligrams of caffeine that's not too bad i'm used to like my caffeine tolerance is pretty high, I reckon. I already have my pre-workout in my bag, but that's like non-stim pre. So, because it's non-stim, there's no caffeine, which is pretty good. So that means I can get in, get out, get a solid ass pump, and then head back home. And shower, study for a bit if I decide to. <coughs> Excuse me. Or I can just fall asleep. Yeah. There will be. Yeah. So... I was going to say there will be an arm video tonight, but then that doesn't make sense because this is uploading three days after the arm video. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about my split. So, lickety split. No, I'm joking. So, my split right now, I've switched it again just to like test out, just because like I'm experimenting right now, just because it's like it's back to consistently going gym but mm, um sorry just chugging <coughs> excuse me um yeah so my split right now is kind of like the dorian yates split i really like his split i used to train like following his methods as well that's what i pretty much found like fundamentally i guess believe in like train hard train intense and just like go all out on like the sets you do that's why i have such limited set 
like amounts like i don't do like three four sets for anything to be honest other than maybe if it's like two exercises i'll do three sets of each but then if it's like three or more exercises i'll do at most like one or two sets like today for example the pressing movements two sets the flying movements one set so yeah for me i've seen the most growth throughout those um yeah the only days i'd say like where i do do a few more sets probably on my shoulder days just because my lateral lateral raises i like to like get slow and controlled and i do like all of them to like failure but that being said i only do two lateral raising movements so i do cable lateral raise and then i do machine lateral raise um i used to do dumbbell lateral raise but that was kind of like i was feeling it more in my traps than my shoulders to be honest like i just feel like for anyone who does dumbbell at one point when you get strong enough you can't push it as much you can't push it because like along with the strength like your form goes to like crap it's like the heavier the weight the harder it is to control it and if you can control it then like good on you like keep doing that like whatever works for you but for me it just didn't work so yeah like in order for me to like contract my lateral sorry lateral muscles no my side deltoids so my anterior anterior i'm practicing because i'm studying physiotherapy so i need to know this right yes so the lateral head of my deltoid yep so the lateral head, head of my deltoid i feel it a lot more when i think um load it heavy so for example on la dumbbell lateral raises i did single arm dumbbell raises so i'd hold one on one hand and do the other oh. excuse me so i do like this and then hold this one by itself so i could do about like 20 25 kilos with that um yeah it's not the greatest i'd say but yeah um sorry it's not the greatest because like i would like be inevitably just not feeling it at the end but like sorry i would feel the muscle but at one point my form is just like swingy <sighs> And yes, I could drop the weight, but once I drop the weight, I just don't feel it anymore. As in, like, it's not heavy enough for my muscles to feel it. So it's like, that's what I'm talking about, like that threshold. There are some people coming at this time. I'm pretty surprised. Could be, could be steroid smugglers. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I, some of you have been asking me if I'm natty or not i'm not i'm joking i'm natty so if you couldn't tell my physique is very much chunky chunky is that is that my friend that was my friend oh yeah so yeah anyways so i'm a pretty chunky human as you can tell there are some muscles there but at the same time pretty much chunky 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 all i've been doing is eating eating training repeating pretty much and sleeping of course steroids don't even cross my mind yet just because like i feel like at 19 i reckon my testosterone hasn't even peaked yet like i still have so much more muscle to gain like now it's probably like the beginning like rather than like, why would i take steroids now like take steroids soon and then just and then just like mess up my hormones for life and just like cut off for like a few years of my life it doesn't make sense like yeah 100 percent, i'm tempted because like everyone should like like you're allowed to like i reckon everyone not everyone like serious gym goers should try one cycle one minimal cycle in their lives just to see just to see if they respond or not just just for like like just to see because like i'm pretty sure the studies have shown that you could realistically take one cycle and nothing is not going to affect your future or your entire life but for me i just don't want to dabble in anything because not only one it's expensive two it's pretty risky if you don't do it without a coach and three i'm too young for that like i'm not, i don't think i'm at, out of age yet like you see some people in at my age like like really big like on steroids or like on gear and whatnot but i mean they could they call themselves like a lot more committed or like i guess hard working or like committed to the game or whatever locked in locked in factory or whatever but to me i just think your health is a priority don't mess it up simply because of like like bodybuilding or like the gym <coughs> like the whole reason 
like people get into the gym is to improve their health not like deteriorate it so like taking steroids like i would but the thing is i wouldn't now if i would it would be like late into my 20s like once i've built all my foundational muscles then i'd hop on see what i look like see if i'm a hyper responder if i do hyper respond then sick like i might compete but like other than that i want to compete compete naturally first so i want to build all my muscle like build like all my weak points compete see how i look lean like do i have the shape or not if i have the shape that's solid if not what can i do that's genetic but yeah um that's how i see it to be honest but yeah like you see like people like chris bumstead sam sulek sam's sam's what like he turned 22 like last month i think yeah he's 22 he's on like you know he's on gear like he might be off it right now but i don't know but he, he's been on gear you can see what he looks like like 100 percent. like his genetics allow that my genetics, however, I don't think will allow that just because my genetics aren't as good as like, like other people's genetics. I say that because where I'm from, it's a South Asian country. Most people there are like five foot five. I am 183 centimeters. I think that translates to either five eleven and three quarters or six foot. I don't know. I don't really care because <laughs> to everyone, I look like five ten because like because of the width, I look like I'm compact. But because of that, <clears throat> sorry, I just need to finish this. But because of that, the people like see me as like a genetic outlier. But at the same time, it's like, am I though? Like, could I be a hyper responder? Like, that's how I say. Like, I just want to see if I'm a hyper responder or not. If I am, sick. Like might grab a coach and whatnot like i will grab a coach before i hop on or anything but yeah that's how i see it to be honest but to the people who don't take gym seriously or like don't see it as something they do for a living or like something they want to commit to in the future i'd suggest just like stay off of like the cycle like just don't touch that stuff like not only is it expensive you're just like wasting money on something you're not even going to need especially because like you're not pursuing something in that field like, yeah, you want to look good, but at what cost? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that is the car talk for today. I'm not Sam. Also, yeah, I did take off the hat because I felt like I was copying Sam. And then, yeah. <laughs> I also changed my shirt because this is the shirt I wore on my other chest day. I really like this. This shirt is pretty cool. Covers the pump really well. Let me just finish this off. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Uh, so tonight I'll probably be having a taco bowl that I made. Um tomorrow I'm gonna be cooking some food. But yeah, that is the plan for tonight. On the agenda today, chest. Yeah.
so I am back home and it is currently I think it's like 1 15 a.m. yeah so I spent a bit too long at the gym yeah I was talking a lot to like a mate there so yeah it's all right it was a good chat um but yeah so now that I'm home I'm gonna quickly shower, eat some tuna, have have a protein shake, and call it a night. I'm um, just quickly, quickly gonna like eat some protein. Um, other than that, my friend at the gym he put me on cream of rice, so I'm gonna try it out tomorrow. And yeah, stick stick through the next video for it. So tomorrow's video, which is gonna come out from now three days. Okay, I won't confuse you guys. It's like it's gonna come out tomorrow. Okay. So anyways, that was a sick, sick freaking pump. Like you guys will see the footage. Like that's pretty damn good. Um yeah, so I'm probably gonna couple chest and biceps now. As you like I used to do it before, it's like the Dorian Yates cell. So chest and biceps, then back and redelts, then rest, then shoulders and triceps, um then legs and then repeat. So yeah, I'm probably gonna start doing that. It's a lot like it's so much better, honestly. Like pumps pumps like the combination the amount i can exert it's perfect so yeah um all right i'm done yapping for today um actually i might continue to yap after i shower and after i finish eating um because i don't really feel that tired and plus tomorrow's a sunday so and i don't have classes until monday so i'll probably get some work done while i'm at it so yeah